Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to give it just a minute. Let everybody start hopping on here. Good morning. If you are hopping on, um, just say hello below. I know a lot of yins are just lurkers and nobody really says much, but I would like to see who is actually on here. So if you are hopping on and you see the red live button up in the left hand corner, you are catching me live. Good morning, everybody. So I'm just going to give it a minute and, um, and then I'll go ahead and I'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. So just drop a hello below. Let me see who's here. Um, I know we have a lot of people that really don't say much. They don't, they don't really talk. And uh, I understand that, but I'd like to see who's all here and who's all catching me live. All right, I will be right back. Okay, we are going to go ahead and get started. Let's see, good morning. Okay, so we got a bunch of people hopping on. How was everybody's Christmas? It was busy, busy, as always. Good morning. Okay, so how was everybody's Christmas? Um, mine was busy. And I'm sure everybody's else was. So, um, yeah, we were, we have seven grandchildren now, so it was fun. Um, our grandchildren are, some of them are starting to get a little bit older and excited about opening the gifts and the presents and ripping that wrapping paper over. So I love that. That's the part that I really love. Um, we have seven grandchildren for you those of you that don't know me i have seven grandchildren all five and under so from four months old to five years old so they're all really close in age and it is fun 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 right now so um yeah it's christmas here was was really fun this year um i always enjoy it with the, you know i have i have five children so, um, we have like a his, hers, and ours, <laughs> and um, me and my husband have been married for 25 years. We have two together. I have two from my previous marriage, and then he has one. So, we have five combined. I always say we're like the Brady Bunch, <clears throat> just one short, and uh, so we had four of, and four of our children um, have... The, the grandkids, so, sorry, I was trying to read as well. Um, so we had a house full and it was awesome. Okay, so we've got a lot of lurkers in the background. Hello to you. Um, if you're not comfortable saying hello or you just can't right now, hello. My in-laws have five together and there's, I think like 13 grandkids. I know, it's awesome. Um, like I said, I have, um, we have seven of them. They're so close in age because they're all five and under. So, 
Um, the oldest, the, it goes like five, four, four, uh, almost three, like 18 months, 20 months, and then four months. So we, I know I'm missing some in there, but they're like all so close in age and it's awesome. <clears throat> so we had wrapping paper flying everywhere, um, you know, <laughs> and then um, my soon-to-be daughter-in-law she had made we got a really cute picture she had um, they're starting a screen printing business so she had made some shirt that said cousin crew and we had all of the kids lined up um, all seven of them and they you know got a picture with a shirt that said cousin crew it was so cute so okay today we are doing the scrabble tiles six four two and one i know it's awesome um, so we are going to do the Scrabble tiles. Look how cute, look how awesome these are. These are stunning. Um, these turn out really well. So, but before we get started, um, I'm just going to go over a couple things. The Scrabble tiles and the monthly Scrabble tiles designs. I have right now here in the shop, um, in this group page, they, I'm having a special on them until midnight tonight and that is Eastern Standard Time I'm in Pennsylvania so um, a lot of people they'll miss my free file Fridays and stuff like that I try to usually remember to put Eastern Standard Time but if not I'm letting you know I am on Eastern Standard Time so um, sometimes I'm a lot ahead of the people that are out west <clears throat> so I do want to let you know that they are gonna be they are on sale here I do have them listed in my Etsy shop, but my Etsy shop, they are more money. So I'm giving you guys, um, for being in my group, I try to give you in some different deals than I usually do before I head over to my shop and list it there. Um, but, so if you're interested in grabbing the full 26 letters, and with the 26 letters, they are all... Um, their number value is correct with the tablet the the Scrabble tiles that are on the original ones So for the game, so their number value is correct on that as well um, And then I decided to add monthly tiles. So I have a 12 tile design as well for the monthly and um, and it's just if you decide to do the table decor with your tiles which I'm kind of loving even though I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put some on my wall um, I have one made now but I do think that I'm gonna um, use them also as table decor and I have an entertainment stand underneath um, a really long entertainment stand underneath my um, TV in my living room and I think I'm gonna change that out with the with the um, months so I did make monthly tiles that will coordinate with the month um, someone did mention that Easter kind of does not fall. Sometimes it falls in March as well. And I was aware of that when I was doing it. That's why I was going to do a cross design. And then I thought, well, that would be kind of hard to... I needed to make something neutral that would work. And I decided to do the March with the four leaf clovers and the April with the bunnies. And April will kind of fit in with bunnies anyways because that is spring. So I just left it as that. Um, I figured that was probably the best fit for the monthly tiles. But if you're interested in those, those are, they are going to be, they are $8 in my shop, but I'm giving them to you guys for $6. And the um, regular Scrabble tiles, they're $15 in my shop. But if you do them here, um, but purchase them here, and I invoice you through PayPal, they are $10. So you're getting a $5 break with that, and $2, $3, wait, $2 with the monthly tiles. So you do have a chance of saving $17 if you buy the bundle, um, and you can do that. So, and then I just invoice you, and I've been trying to be really good with getting those out to you as soon as they're paid. Um, I've been checking in a lot, so um, I'll get those to you as soon as possible. <clears throat> So you can find those today till midnight, the deals. If not, and you missed that, they'll be in my shop. Uh, let me see. I did want to mention my daughter's shop. As you know, so she does mock-ups and um, she's been getting into some graphic designing. That is actually what she had majored in um, all through, uh, through a Votex school when she was in high school. So she took four years of that. Um, so she's really good with that. 
Uh, but she's been starting to get a little bit more into the designs. You could check out her Etsy shop and um, or her Facebook group. She does have a 99 cent sale going on now until New Year's. So, but you have to go to her Facebook group page. Um, I did put a link there is a post on that if you want to check that out and grab she's doing some spring designs right now she's got some garden flags and some mug designs and stuff up there so really cute designs there okay I think I might have everything covered that I like to get covered okay oh and I wanted to show you these are the new double-sided flags that I got I know I had did a video on them but I wanted to show you how awesome these are these are so pretty and um, I really love these these are such a high quality and a thick material so this design um, flag design is in my shop as well as this and I'm really loving the double-sided flags so but I wanted to show you this was this is available in my shop now so I do got these in love them <clears throat> And those are 12 by 18 size, so they're a really nice size as well. Okay, so all of that out of the way, we are going to move on to the Scrabble tiles. So once again, here are the Scrabble tiles. And these are four by four, so they are a fairly nice size. Um, my sister actually just ordered um, some of the slate, or not slate, some of the Scrabble tiles. Off of when I went to her house for Christmas I had seen she had a wall done with it and I was like why didn't you just tell me I could have made you some um, but she had them done in vinyl from somebody which is fine but I could I could have made them for her but um, so and I was like you know I've always been wanting to do a Scrabble wall so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna figure out something to do a Scrabble wall with and I found and hers were four by four so she actually had the Scrabble tiles on pine wood and they were done in a four by four and I was like I know I have something for that and ta-da they are the drink coasters like I was like these will be perfect perfect so I'm using the mug drink contain um, coasters for these and they turn out stunning they sub beautifully um, I love these when I gave these as gifts with my mugs when I was doing them, I gave them last year as secretary gifts, but look how beautiful they sub as, um, just sub out, because they're beautiful and they're perfect for this. <clears throat> so we're gonna start, and they come, <clears throat> I am gonna offer these, I have 500 of these. So I'm gonna offer these in my shop. They are $1.50 each. Um, so if you're interested in them, I'm gonna sell them, I'm gonna piece them out one at a time. So um, the way that I would say that probably to do it for you is to do how I did, I'm looking for it. <clears throat> what, I, what I did was I had figured out my design prior to um, printing them out so that I knew how many towels I needed. So this took a little bit of work. Um, the way I did it was originally was I took post-it notes and each note got its own letter. And then I just went and started figuring it out until um, you could take little pieces of paper. I just had a post-it notepad near me and then I gave each one a letter as if it was a tile. And then I just went and started figuring it out. This is what I came up with. So I'm gonna do a grandchildren wall here it's going to take me 40 tiles so that's probably the best way for you to figure it out is to go ahead and get your design because your uh, every name is not going to need a letter okay so you're you would not need to buy like um, sometimes you could fit two in but not every time like I would only need one of those or one of those because of with this it would already be in this you know how Scrabble works I'm not gonna go through that with you so figure out how many you need for your design and then I always suggest adding at least one to two more for that oops um, and that's another tip I'm gonna give everybody here 
I see a lot of people, they will order stuff, um, will order supplies. And whether it be from me or wherever you order from. And then you only, you need to and you only order to. Bad move. Make sure you always give yourself an extra one. Um, I've been doing sublimation for a while. And let me tell you, when I started these tiles, I forgot I needed to do, you know, I messed up. I messed up my first two. I was like, what am I doing here? So um, give yourself those oops. Make sure you always give yourself one to two extra when you order just for that purpose, especially if you're selling these. It's not so bad that if you're doing it for yourself and then you can wait, you order more and you can wait. But if you have sales, always give yourself some room for those mistakes. Um, you're gonna make them. I still make them all the time. Um, sometimes I'll have to go back and I'll really, you know, I keep a book, another tip, I keep a book, I know I tell you this all the time, of all of my pressing times, pressures, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm a well, this is a well-loved book, it's fallen apart over the years, so um, it got all of my pressures, times, um, exactly what the substrate is, um, how many seconds, everything if it needs pre-pressed if it doesn't need pre-pressed i write that in here so um i have keep that on hand there's no way i've been i press a lot i press things almost every single day and there's no way even as much as i'm pressing and i know everybody else is that are pressed that i can remember what a doormat is um compared to when my flags, when I'm pressing a flag. I will a lot of times, um, some of them I know off by heart, but when I get to certain ones, I'll be like, I can't remember what this stainless steel mug is compared to a regular mug. I need to refer to this so many times, a lot. There's only a few things that I can, you know, that I press quite often that I know offhand um, that I remember, but other than that, keep a book. Um, okay, so a lot of people ask, what system do I use? I have, as you see, it's in the background here, I have a Epson 7720, and um, the 7710 is exactly the same, except for it only has one tray. This one has two, no big deal. Um, so, and I don't mind changing out my papers, which I usually do, because with the 7720, the second tray does not allow you to change certain settings on it. So um, I tend to be t changing this out a lot, my tray one. So if you wanna go with the 7710, which is um, you know, a little bit cheaper, uh, so you could do that, it's the same machine. I use the CIS, the Continuous Ink Supply System on the outside. I don't do refillable cartridges. I refill out here. I love this. Um, I will put a link to my inks up above, and I want to say it's Ink Products, Ink Pro, Ink Products. Um, that's where I get all of my inks from, and I have not yet ever can say that I've ever had an issue with their inks. Love their inks. They're vibrant. They press well, and I've never had an issue with them. That, so that's the system I prefer. <clears throat> uh, let me think. Also... I am going to say I have recently discovered this for iron off. I bought this at Joann's, Joann Fabrics. And um, I've noticed that I needed the, the under the my plates on my, my upper plate especially cleaned on my heat press. It was, um, you know, over time it will get a little bit of ink transfer, especially if you're pressing a lot and a lot and a lot. So... I was noticing that I was getting, even though I used the paper on top, I was getting some maybe shadows of some different colors, just transferring to my like butcher paper and stuff. And I was like, I think it's time to be cleaned. So I use this very easy to clean. You just rub it on, rub it off. Very easy. So if you're looking to clean, if you did make a mistake, like I did down below, I forgot to put a butcher paper down and then I pressed and I pressed some ink in this is what made me get this. Um, I pressed a flag, forgot to put my butcher paper down. It was either a flag or a doormat. It might have been a doormat. And it completely transferred to my top. 
plate. So I had to take it off and I was like, oh, I gotta go get something. So this, if you're looking at cleaning your plate, which I, so then I just came upstairs and cleaned my smaller one. This was awesome. Cleaned up really easy. I did it like two times and my plate underneath was really nice and clean. <clears throat> okay, moving on. I had a one year old, Kaylin. Yes, Brianna. The, I, the one year olds, I have an 18 month old and or 15 month old and he was just, wrapping paper was flying everywhere. Okay, so these are the tiles. They will come bundled in two packs. Um, I am gonna sell them individually, and um, I am selling these. I will put a link to them. I do have 500 of them, so um, either 500, I think there's 500 of them in that box. I just had them come recently. And uh, they're gonna be $1.50 a tile, so figure out your tiles previously. They come white. They're gonna come like this. And with this one, usually when I get them, they usually have a coating on them. I tried to scratch off a coating on these and it doesn't look like they have any. Like they usually have a plastic on them, not a coating. These ones don't look like they have the plastic, so. No need to peel these ones, it doesn't seem. <clears throat> and these are four by four. Okay. And I am using a pressing pillow for these. Love this, um, love this pressing pillow for you, those of you who catch me live often. This is just the Cricut Heat Press pressing pillows um, pads. I love these. I have found that um, these are my favorite. I have the 12 by 12. I've got the bigger one when I need it for bigger projects, and I use this one a lot in my downstairs. This is a 16 by 20. So I do use those a lot. And for the tiles, I've noticed that I've needed these. They work really well with the tiles. So butcher paper down first. Okay, and I'm pressing these 400 degrees, 45 seconds. And I, let, let me tell you with these, um, oh wait, there might be a, I thought there was a, thought I was seeing something on them, but there's not. So there's no, no peeling vinyl, or no, nothing to peel off a protective coating on it. So it doesn't look like it. We're gonna press them. Have not pressed these ones yet. So we are going to see these ones. Uh, they're the same as my other ones, but these ones didn't have a, uh, a protective coating on them. So 400 degrees, 45 seconds, and, I thought I had this set. I guess not. And I do a, um, a fairly heavy pressure on these. So like a light heavy um, with the pad. Pre-press them. Very, very, very important with the... These are like the note boards that I have. The dry erase boards. These are kind of like that. So very, very, very important. Okay? Um, that you pre-press these. For some reason, if you don't, let me see if I have one here. Yeah, you kind of get these, if you can see this, kind of like a cloud to them. And I want to say that's like a moisture because that's what happens with slates when you don't pre-press them. Can you see that? I'm trying to get that. There you go. So you see that cloud there? That's usually meaning that there's some moisture in there. These are hot, use your gloves. Um, so I realized that pre-pressing them really helps. All right, so let's get these off of here. And another item that I always suggest you have is heat gloves. I ordered these off of Amazon. Um, I'm thinking I am gonna go and get the of glove because it works just as well. And sometimes with this, these have this, um, like this blue coating on them. I gotta be careful sometimes where I touch my substrates when they're hot, because that blue kind of transfers sometimes. Um, I can usually rub it off, but I'm not liking how this transfers sometimes to my substrates. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be out today, I might just go get the up glove. But these towels get super hot. Okay. 
So these have been pre-pressed 45 seconds and we're going to press them exactly the same as well. So I have not done these yet, the monthly tiles, so we are going to do those. And then all you do is you are going to, I use heat tape, I'm just going to secure it. <clears throat> and I did see someone post, I can't remember who I can give credit to, she did them with the two by two um, magnetic tiles, magnet tiles. And I guess it has them on their fridge. What a cute idea, huh? You could even make little letter tiles for the grandkids to go ahead and spell out things or just to spell out things yourself every day. Okay, so these are taped down, um, print side up, and we are going to do, again, 445 seconds. Oh, my daughter's on Camden gelling. Grandma. Hi, Camden. Hi, Caden. My daughter shies on with my grandchildren. <clears throat> so these are fairly easy to do. And these are so cute. I am, when we're done here, um, I'm going to press. I'll do these monthly tiles, and then I'm going to do two Scrabble tiles. We'll go ahead and do that. But I thought when she did the the little two by two tiles on the magnetic ones for the magnet ones for the fridge. I thought, how cute is that? So um, that's another idea. And with these, with my designs, all of my designs, you can size up, you can size down without losing the quality of the design. So these would absolutely work on, on your fridge magnets. All right, moment of truth here. How beautiful. So these turn out stunning. Stunning. Okay, so there's the snowflake, and then I decided to also do the, um, the heart flag. And a lot of people say, what kind, of, okay, let me, um, let me answer that. What kind of paper do I use? I use the ASAB paper. To me, it's my favorite. I have never had issues with it. It transfers nicely. Okay, so a lot of people say, well, I thought white don't transfer. You're correct, white does not transfer, but do you see some white in here? That is strictly because my design and the white stars, my design started white. So white with sublimation, for any of you that are new, white is, I always say it's dead space. It is literally nothing. So it will take on whatever color your substrate or your background is. So if you are pressing onto a pink shirt, your white in your design is going to be pink. Always remember your white is dead space. So because this started white, and I had some um, distressing and then the white stars, it took on the white background because it was dead. There was no color in there, so it didn't apply any color whatsoever. It just took on my background color. Now, if I had done this on a tan or a, um, a pink background, the stars and any white distressing marks in here would have been pink. Okay, I know um, some of the new people don't understand that. Um, yes, these are coasters. Okay, look how beautiful though. Um, it was funny because when I showed my husband last night, he because I had my coasters delivered, and I took them out, and he said, you got the wrong ones, they're white. And I said, no, honey, they are, they're, they're correct. And he's like, no, you have wood. You got the wood ones, they're not the wood ones. I said, no, that is part of the design. So he was fairly impressed. I, I don't think he understands sublimation, so he was fairly impressed. He actually thought these were wood. So that's how well the wood grain in these look. They actually look like a Scrabble tile. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to do, and here's the snowflake. 
but they are beautiful. All right, so I'm going to do two letters, okay? And when you print your design <clears throat> with these, always make sure you mirror image it, okay? And always a brand new piece of um, butcher paper. So you can get your butcher paper in rolls. Um, I get mine at Sam's Club and our local GFS, Gordon Food Service, sells them. Thousand foot roll. Um, Sam's Club is cheaper. It's like $20, $19.99 or $97. And um, my Gordon Food Service, G GFS, they sell theirs for $24. So depending on if I'm out shopping or... You know, Sam's Club's a little bit further, not much, but it just depends. I'll go to either or. It's a thousand feet of it. Um, that is your best bet, but in a pinch or in a bind, you can always use parchment paper. But you cannot use your normal Teflon sheets, which usually you get these that come with a lot of the heat presses or you can buy them. You can't always use these with um, all of your substrates. So I just recommend butcher paper and always use a new um, piece as you can see you see how it's got a little bit of that ink that came through you do that would transfer onto a new design So you do not want to ever reuse okay throw them out <laughs> um, Not finding the designs to purchase uh, They're in the posts here um, the Scrabble tiles and the monthly um, 12 monthly designs they're here. Um, you'll just have to scroll through and look <clears throat> So let's get a new piece, new piece of butcher paper. Again, we are going to pre-press. And sometimes this is where I forget, sometimes because some of my items I get um, are not pre-pressed. But I've noticed with these, the dry erase boards, the coasters, um, ceramic tiles and photo slates and that, they tend to collect moisture, so they need that pre-press. And that's why that book is very handy because you will want to make a note pre-press on whatever it is that you're needing it for, <clears throat> whatever substrate. So um, start a book, start a tablet. Okay, yes, these are, these are the coasters. I have 500 available right now. They do come um, pre-packaged in sets of two. Um, I am going to do them here in the group page. I'll put a, um, I'm going to do a post. They're going to be $1.50 each, and you can purchase them separately. When I put them to my shop, I'm going to put them in sets of two. And always make sure you give yourself at least, considering we're doing Scrabble tiles and there's a lot of tiles you're probably going to be doing, I would at least give yourself two extra minimum. Like I said, I messed up my first two. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And here I wasn't pre-pressing them. <clears throat> so that, that's very important with these. Pre-press, pre-press. <clears throat> these are hot. All right. So we're just going to tape it down to the design. And these are the four-inch coasters, which are, when you get a wall full, they turn out nice. I did the live, love, laugh, and hope one, and it turned out to be fairly big. So these, I, to me, I thought these were better. I know you can find like the actual wooden Scrabble tiles people sell with the vinyl. You can get them in six inches, eight inches. And unless you're doing only maybe a couple words, that design can, or you are not, you know, it could be huge. So unless you are getting the bigger ones and you need a, to fill up a big, a very big wall, that would do it. But to me, I think the four inch worked perfect for um, putting on a wall because it still took up a, quite a bit of wall space. So I'm going to do all of my grandchildren's names. So that was the design I'd figured out. I have wrote, grandchildren, like I said, um, figure out before you order how many you need and then give yourself a few extra. Okay, so I'm going to do all of my grandkids and then I'm just going to make a wall of it. <clears throat> so 400 degrees, 45 seconds again. Yes, 400 for 45. 
Um, Pre-press time, I do the same 445 seconds. So I do that first, and then I just go back and I pre and I not regular press press it the design on for 445 seconds. So it's the same for the pre-press and the regular press. So Tammy, they're both the same. 45 pre-press, 45 seconds regular press. And I found that's what works best for me. And I will tell you this, not every heat press is the same. Um, this one's an older heat press. I've had it for years, like 10. And it's starting to lose a little bit of um, heat occasionally. So um, I don't know if that's the issue. So you might need to adjust that for you. Whew. These are hot. Oh, and here, let me show you about these gloves. This is what I was saying. How look, but look how beautiful this turns out. But see how sometimes if I touch it with my blue glove, it comes, it goes on there. I can usually remove it. But I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go get the of glove. But look how nice this turns out. Beautiful. Okay, so easy, easy. Um, how adorable. I was thinking these would make perfect gifts for Valentine's coming up. Um, we have Mother's Day's coming up in May. I know that's a little bit further ahead, but... Um, these would be perfect gifts for that. Uh, I am actually going to show you now what um, I did for hanging them. So when it came down to that, um, I was thinking, you know, this is awesome. But um, I noticed with my sisters when she hung her tiles, they, um, it was strange because she, um, some of hers, she had to hang hers individually. And I was thinking, oh dear Lord, could you imagine how hard that would be to get? And she did have a hard time because some of her letters were a little, one was up, a little bit was a little down. So it wasn't a really nice, she hung it as best as she could. So I'm not saying that. I'm just saying she had her whole family name plus her and her two children. So she had a lot of tiles. And I'm thinking she and it looked like she had to hang every single one of them. So she had to put, she actually had to put a nail hole in for every single letter. And I'm thinking, I can't even imagine that. So um, I figured out something that worked that I found that worked best for me. Might work for you. Um, you can do it this way. But. Um, I went to the store and I had actually found paint stirrers. And um, what I did was, but I took them off because I was rearranging them. But I took the paint stirrers. These were, you get a three pack. I got these at Lowe's, a three pack for 98 cents. Um, you might need to do, get yourself a scroll saw, a chop saw, um, I have a jigsaw, so and these do not have to be cut perfectly. So what I did was, I figured this was probably my cheapest way to attach tiles to. So, figure your design out first before you get your tiles and start attaching them. But what I did was, or what I'm going to do is, because I have not done them yet, I am actually going to take, and I am going to glue these tiles, let me just do two, onto there. So I would probably say you, considering this is a cork back and this is wood, you probably could just hot glue them. Um, and they would stay. And to me, I think that would be a whole lot easier getting this all together, designing it, um, getting the sticks built underneath it and gluing it and then making it a good pieced together design even where the pieces would meet in here you could hot glue it together 
Um, I think it would be a whole lot easier to hang these as a piece together design than it would be to do each tile. So this is what I'm doing. I found this was probably the most cost effective way was the paint stars. And yes, it does come off of the wall a little, but I did kind of do a little small mock-up of it and it's actually cute. You could use double-sided tape. I don't know if I'd want to put that on my wall um, because it will sometimes, um, the heat can affect that of, you know, getting hot, getting cold. It could also make it like fall off the wall or it could um, it peel off some of your drywall, your paints. So I was not into the double-sided tape. Um, so this was the way that I have figured out that I'm going to do it. I actually kind of liked it being raised off. I did it on my tabletop and had them all lined up with my sticks underneath, placed on top where I was going to cut my sticks at. And um, I kind of liked it a little bit raised off the wall. It gave it a little bit of dimension. So that is definitely a choice for you. If somebody else command strips, yes, you could do the command strips, but then I figured you're going to have every one of these how are you going to get the little to pull the tab um so and another way i figured was cutting strips of cardboard down now if somebody else figures out some other way to do this hey post it because we could use it and then i figured well why not let's just put them together all on the cardboard we can line them up make this a little bit you know smaller and then I'll go ahead and have that, and at least I'll have one design all together, hang it on the wall. So that is, that's my mission to do that, because I cannot imagine doing every single tile. Because I don't think that I would line it up good enough and even enough where it would look, I'm a little bit OCD, I will tell you that. So I'm all about the straight, nothing crooked, nothing slanted. The towels need to be together. To me, if I'm gonna hang these, they have to look like they're on the Scrabble towel board and correct, not all wonky, if that's even a word. So this is what I found. This was my cheapest way. Um, I actually only used two packs whenever, whenever I did because there's three in a pack for 98 cents. And um, I am going to cut these. I will show you what it all looks like probably later this week once I get, because I gotta press all of the grandchildren's names. I'm gonna open my window. Heat press gets, it's so hot in here. And if you're lucky enough and you're in Pennsylvania, today is like 60 degrees out. Like I'm loving this winter. And my heat press makes it so hot in my room. Um, and I am cooking right now. So if anybody else comes up with a better way, post that because this was the only way that I really found out that I would. And then once I did it, I was actually on my very top um, hanging and maybe you know out in the sides, I was going to put some um, sawtooth hangers on the back of here. Then I was literally just gonna hang it on the wall. So that's how I'm doing that. And then the second thing that I made was was, um, let me see if I can get this in, was an actual Scrabble towel holder. I painted this one black just because I wanted it black. Um, you could leave it natural wood if you choose, which usually the Scrabble towel holders are, and that's fine. Um, I just chose, I wanted it to be black. It's gonna go on my entertainment center. And this is actually, I wanna say, let me measure this. This was really easy to find and really easy to do. This is two foot long. Um, and you can find these in any size. Let me show you. And I thought this would be so fun to change out for the holidays. This is where the table decor would come in. And you can do it. Uh, let me just give you a rough idea on this. 
what it would look like if you were to use some. Look how cute that is. Can everybody see that? And literally, it's like a Scrabble tile holder. Um, and like I said, I chose to just do mine in black. Just, it matched a little bit better. Um, you could leave it wood. And I'm gonna show you how to make this. This is super easy. So I was at Lowe's and I'm like, I need a Scrabble tile holder. So I went over to where the wood is, the pre-cut wood, and I found some pre-cut pine. They have the pine over there, the birch, the oak, um, and it's usually with the finished cut boards, the nice ones, not the outdoor ones or the rough cut ones. These are usually with the nice ones, and I made that whole 24-inch holder for, with tax and everything, was $4.48. So, um, and that's 24 inches long. Now, you can get these in any size. They had clear up to, geez, 16 so if you are selling and you want to sell these, you know, just get the longer ones, cut them down, whatever. This, um, I don't even know what size this is. Three eight. okay, so this is a three inch, 24 inch board, three eighths thick. So it's not real thick. It's not like a one inch board where you get them. These are the smaller ones that are in, usually they're in like little cubbies. At least Milo's has them that way or Home Depot. And it's already been sanded, um, really just a nice board. So I just took that, and then I got the half inch by two inch. So this is a two inch wide board. I just got that. And then all I did was, I literally, I don't know if you guys can see me, I just took, a bead of Gorilla Glue because this stuff holds like crazy and then I took a small bead I let it get a little bit tacky and then I stuck my board on it so there's not even no nailing with this it's literally I brought this home and this is the way I did it so I stuck can everybody see that there we go and then I literally just sat it on top of here and then I let it dry probably well I let it dry overnight before I used it but before I went to my next step was this is also these are in with the dial rods you can get the circle ones or the square ones this was like 70 cents now this one I could not find 24 inches but you're gonna laugh because all I did was I scored it with an exacto knife I just took my exacto knife. I just did a simple pencil pen, however, from underneath, marked it, and then I literally scored it with an exacto knife all the way around, and it was didn't have to be perfect until um, I got like deep enough, and then I just snapped it and it made a perfect snap but you could cut it if you need and I don't know if you can tell but and then all I did for that was I gorilla glued it and then I held it down that one I did hold down with um, chip clips <laughs> I just used chip clips after I gorilla glued this And then I held it down, and there you go. There's your Scrabble towel. But you definitely want to get um, at least the taller one for this, because I could have used a thinner one. But then my, I actually took a towel with me. It was kind of flopping off, so it needed to be a little bit higher of her back, and I figured that that one worked perfect. And that literally, that's a little hard to see, gave me my, my board. And that was all glued. There was no nails involved, nothing. And then I will, I'm gonna actually put this one on and I'm gonna probably just change it out with the seasons on my entertainment stand. That's my little grand, that's my newest grandbaby's name. There. And this one fits comfortably, I think six tiles when I did it. 
And that's why I said you can make these too. How, don't touch the heat press. It's hot. Yeah, there was six tiles. Let's just put it in here. Six tiles comfortably. And I know usually with Scrabble you do seven, but this did six tiles comfortably. So you can make that however long, however short you need it. There we go. And this would be cute to change out with the seasons. There you go. So that's it. Super easy. This was a super easy project. And I really think that this will go over well for Valentine's. Um, people love the Scrabble tiles. And when I was into vinyl pretty big, as I know most of us started, a lot of us started, I should say, um, in vinyl, the Scrabble tiles were always a huge hit. Um, everybody loves to see family names in there. Um, I did my, the one that I showed as, that I did as my tester, I did the la Live, Love, Laugh, and Hope. Um, you could do all kinds of things like that and then go ahead and, um, you know, market that for Valentine's Day. Market it, so it, really you could market it for Valentine's Day, it could be an Easter gift um, for a family member, and it would be great for Mother's Day as well as Father's Day. Um, I know moms really love it to see their children or their grandchildren's names in it. Um, so this one here is actually going to be able to market for a couple months. So for the couple different holidays coming up, actually all year long, but there's some big holidays, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, this would be perfect for. Um, these would be perfect gifts. These would be perfect sellers. So if you've got any spring shows, absolutely. Um, I would probably say have the tiles, um, some tiles ready to be purchased, as well as the holders, if you're going to do it, um, for the spring craft shows that are coming up. So those would be the, the tile holders. You can make them in different lengths. I would definitely say don't go any smaller than the 24 inch. And you could do them, I did see them, like I said, all the way up to six. I wanted to say it was 16 feet, so that would be two. Might not have been that long. It might have been 12 feet. So you could do, you know, a couple of them if you want to cut them down and make your own. But that's it. Um, super easy project. Okay, does anybody have any questions, any comments? I am going to post the link um, to everything that I kind of showed you um, here, except for like the lows. That's just some wood. Like I said, paint stirs is what I found for hanging. That's a three pack, 98 cents. That was what I found for that to put along the back. And then the wood pieces were just in, let me give you a close up of them. These were just in the lows section of the finished and I got the pine, the pine wood. You have different kinds of wood, if you choose. And this is the square rod. So um, you could choose your different wood colors if you wanted. Um, you could paint. I painted this one black. It's just what I wanted. It matches a little bit with my decor. You could do. You could just take the wood and you could put some polyurethane on it or put nothing on it post your daughter's group. I will do a link to that. Um, she's having a 99 cent sale as well on some, she really got some pretty uh, spring designs coming out. She has a few listed in there now. <clears throat> um, and some mock-ups. I know she's got some mock-ups coming for um, the spring, like some garden flags, some pillows. Um, she has a few other mock-ups coming. So I will post a link to that. You can find it, I do have a post here kind of hanging out. If you want to scroll through, you'll see my daughter shop. It goes to her Facebook group and you do have to go to her Facebook group because she has a coupon code there that you need to use at checkout in her Etsy shop um, to get the 99 cent deal. So you need to join her Facebook group to get that code. Okay. Um, and there is a post here, the Scrabble tiles bundle is ten dollars it's 15 in my shop it'll be 10 here until midnight tonight 
and the monthly tiles are um, they are also here in a post and they are six dollars they are eight in my shop and they are also on sale until tonight so I'm doing that for you guys if you kind of miss that uh, I like to try to give you the preview or the pre-sale to things that we do here and I'm also going to put a um, I have all of these on hand so if you order any of the coasters today they will be shipping um, I'm gonna try to get as many out for the orders that I can for today I'll be here until about six o'clock today I have Bible study tonight so um, I'm going to be shipping today as well so I'm gonna post a link to that to order the Scrabble tiles um, So that you can add can I do a blank I can do a blank design in the bundle I will go ahead if you if that's something you want um, sure I just stop away okay okay Debbie um, I can go ahead and throw that in the bundle I'll just have to add that I know a lot of people's already purchased so um, yeah I might go ahead and add that in I don't know how I'll do that because then I'll feel bad because everybody's already purchased so I might just make that a separate purchase just because I wouldn't want to do that to all of the others and then have to go back and re and re mail all of those back out so I have to figure out how I'm gonna do that one <clears throat> Okay, um, all right, I think that's it. So you can look for those three posts for the tile blanks, which are the coasters, um, the tile designs, and the monthly designs. I'm gonna have them all. So that those sales will be on until tonight at midnight, which is Eastern Standard Time. All right, anybody have any questions, any comments? All right, everybody, um, I guess I will see you next decade. We can literally say that. We are going to be closing out a decade. Wow, amazing, huh? Hope everybody's year has been wonderful. Hope everybody's decade was wonderful. Um, we're closing out one decade and moving into a new one. Why be getting any more slates? Actually, Maria, I probably am. I was looking at those, um, looking at doing another order on those, but I will tell you, um, either Thursday or Friday, I do have something special coming up again. And um, I'm actually waiting for them to be delivered. I thought they'd be here by now because usually my FedEx comes early in the morning. Uh, no, he usually comes around 11, 12 o'clock. So I do have another live coming up probably this week um, I am going to be working on that and I'm super excited about getting these and they are going to be to me I think they're going to be just as beautiful as the slates so we'll see but I am thinking about doing some slates here in the near future okay so be watching for that. All right, everybody have a happy new year and the famous quote, as everybody says, I will be seeing you next year. <laughs> so we're gonna be moving into a new decade. New things are happening. All right, everybody. As always, if you need me, you can message me, okay? If not, I'm gonna post the link to tiles, to designs, everything, inks I've used, all of that, you'll find I'm going to go in after I post this. All right, Happy New Year, everybody.